This video will demonstrate the maintenance procedure for models INS100 and INS250 Intelligent Nitrogen Generators. For detailed maintenance instructions, refer to the manual located inside the cabinet or online at www.pottersignal.com. To perform this maintenance, you will need the element maintenance kit that will contain three filter elements, part number 0090213, as well as the air compressor intake element, part number 5230024. To begin, power off the air compressor using the air compressor power switch located on the right side of the cabinet. Turn this to the off position. Next, isolate the nitrogen generator from the sprinkler system by closing the N2 tank valve labeled V03, turning it to the off position. Locate and open the blue N2 bleed valve located near the nitrogen sampling port. Once open, the pressure will begin to drain from the nitrogen tank and the nitrogen generator. Once the pressure is completely drained from the nitrogen generator, replace the intake filter by unscrewing it from the compressor housing. This whole piece can be disposed of. Using the new filter element, screw this into the nitrogen generator housing until it is secure and hand tight. Locate the four filters inside of the nitrogen generator cabinet. These house the elements that will need to be replaced. Drain any residual pressure in the nitrogen generator by opening this black valve on the bottom of the filter bowl. Disconnect the condensate drain tubes by pushing up on the releasing collar and pulling down on the tube. Repeat this step for each of the drain tubes to disconnect them. Continue by removing the water separator filter bowl. Inside of here is the water separator element. Remove this by twisting and wiggling and note that we will have to reuse this. This is not part of the maintenance kit. It should also be noted that the wrench should be placed on the black wrench flat that is part of the filter bowl. Do not place the wrench flat on the brass lock nut as this is holding in the filter float and can break. If the inside of the filter bowls are noticeably dirty, rinse out any loose debris with water and then wipe clean the filter bowl with a clean towel. Remove the filter bowl containing the red element and remove this by pulling down, twisting, wiggling as needed. Next, remove the filter bowl containing the blue element. Remove and discard. And finish by removing the filter bowl containing the black filter element. Remove and discard. Utilizing the new filter elements in reverse order, replace the black filter element by pushing up until it's seated properly into the upper housing. Take the filter bowl and screw back on, fasten until hand tight. Repeat this step for the blue filter element by pushing up into the housing and securing the filter bowl. Next will be the red filter element. Lastly, the water separator element that was removed, cleaned, replaced with the filter bowl, screwing into the upper housing again until hand tight. Reconnect the condensate drain tubing by pushing into the push to connect fitting, giving it a little tug to ensure that it's secure and repeat the steps for the following filters. Ensure that you have closed the black bleed valve located on the black filter housing here, as well as close the blue bleed valve. In addition to color on the filter element, there is also a part number that correlates to the part number on the filter bowl for easy reference. Pressurize the nitrogen generator utilizing the compressor power switch from earlier and turn it to the on position. Once the generator has completed repressurizing and the compressor motor has turned off, check your filter housings for leaks. 
if you do see a leak coming from one of the filter bowls, attempt to tighten, but do not over tighten. If it still leaks after tightening, check the O-rings. Inside of the maintenance kit, O-rings are included in case of a damaged O-ring. If damage is found, replace the O-ring with the appropriate color provided. To reset the maintenance timer, press the maintenance button on the main keypad, enter code 0000, press 1 for standard maintenance, and press enter to clear the maintenance alert. Press enter again to confirm. This will reset your maintenance timer. This will also clear any lights from the maintenance or trouble indicators that could have been on before you started this procedure. Press escape to return to the main menu. Once the maintenance procedure has been completed, restore the nitrogen generator to service the fire sprinkler system by opening up the isolation valve that we closed earlier, allowing pressure to go back into the fire sprinkler system. This concludes the maintenance for the INS 100 and INS 250. For additional information, please visit www.pottersignal.com.